everyone welcome back to my channel in this week's video we are going to charleston and we're gonna go thrifting it's been a very long time since i've taken you guys thrifting with me and since i've just moved i have located all of the great shops and today i thought it'd be fun to take you to charleston and show you the stores there and what i find so let's hope we can find some really cool things there's a couple of rooms that i'm needing some decor for so let's go okay first up is the community thrift store i've never been here we're going to experience the store together so this was a really large store it had a lot of inventory a lot of shelves throughout the entire store i spotted this black and white candlestick holder and found this one as well so the pricing was really good here i also love this uh, gold brass bowl um, with a little decal there of the grapes and i also spotted this beautiful ceramic italian bowl i didn't get this and i am really regretting not getting that bowl and i spotted this ikibana um, holder there but then upon further investigation it was um, homemade I don't know what that was under there but that was a pass really love this copper charger it was $2.99 so much you can do with this little tray and this bowl was incredible I think this was um, all like mosaic tile on top really cool shape I couldn't lift this up with holding my phone so unfortunately that stayed behind it was really heavy then I'm just um, looking through and spotted this unusual thing perhaps this was another plant or flower holder um, made of teak thought that was interesting for $7.99 I did wind up passing on that and I do regret not getting these Okay, we just pulled into this store called Recycled Love Thrift Store. So let's give this one a go and let's see what's inside. So this particular store, I was a little disappointed in. Um, this happened to be a church charity shop. It was small. Um, I, they had a lot of knickknacks, a lot of holiday stuff, but nothing that seemed collectible or aesthetic for my home. Still a very cute and quaint little shop. They did have some clothing on the other side, but I was mainly here looking for home decor. So unfortunately, this one was a pass for me. Okay, so we're approaching the next stop. It's called the Station Park Circle. It's in a really quaint little part of town here. Um, we're parked pretty much on the side of the road because there's no parking, so it's usually a good sign. I'm excited. It's so aesthetic. It's so pretty. Look, look at all the plants. Oh, look at this. That's so cool. This brawl with tables really cool. So this store wasn't per se a thrift store. This was an antique shop and this was loaded with mid-century treasures. Um, this was a sort of like a big garage with tons of dealers and this particular um, little spot that I'm in right now just had the most beautiful quaint little things um, in here. Candle holders and these pictures and the pricing was just phenomenal. This print um, right here, or this canvas, was $75, and I almost bought it, but it seemed to be a little bit too green for my um, my room. Now over here in the corner, I spotted these beautiful gold, um, these gold glasses here. I do show who the designer is in a minute. I think in the back here, there's the sticker, and what does it say vintage George Briard I guess I'm saying that right um, glasses these were beautiful guys perfect for the holidays and as I mosey on over um, I spotted <laughs> so many things my eyes were everywhere all at once but look how cool this mid-century little bar cart was this was really unusual um the ticket price was 245 guys that was an absolute steal if i was doing more mid-century in my home this would have came home with me it so as i browse up i noticed the beautiful wood dresser um and then i spotted these four little cushions if you will 
Um, they are steel case, mid-century modern stools. All four of them were $200, which was an absolute steal. Again, guys, if I was doing mid-century, this would have went straight into my car. These were a great price. They had so many um, beautiful glassware, um, little treasures and trinkets. This store was ideal. If you are ever in Charleston and you are looking for mid-century um, goodies with good pricing, this place is it. I love this picture too. Um, I do flip over the price here. What is this, $75? Yep, I think it was $65. Again, great price for a beautiful black and white vintage frame print and what do we have over here just spotting so many cool things this is this is why i love going out and doing this to me this is therapeutic i just fell in love with all of the mid-century little dishware here guys this store was exceptional definitely a 10 out of 10 to visit okay, we are in we're in the palmetto goodwill mm -hmm. and so the parking lot is packed that can be a good thing or a bad thing because it's Saturday normally things are picked over on Saturdays but here we are I have hope that I'm going to find some so this store probably was picked over um, I did spot this really cool shaped face and I planned on restyling it and making it look more rustic and aged but I decided to pass on it here I am just scrounging looking for whatever I can find here these were okay these were vintage party lights um, I've seen sconces that you mount on the walls um, trending at the moment so those are cool and then I spotted these tiny I'm in love with these little mini vintage frames I thought of my daughter so I did pick these ones up I love little jewels in this one for 99 cents it was just it had to come home with me so I picked these guys up and brought them home. I didn't fill the entrance, but this is um, the last store. This is another Palmetto Goodwill. And upon walking in, I spotted this wooden board. Definitely brought that in to my cart. And I think this belonged to the store, but I was willing to buy it. Um, my hands were full of recording and holding that board so I couldn't lift it to see the price. But, um, so yeah. I put these in my cart. They were $1.99 and I really love the tones in there and I love just sort of the that watercolor softness uh, about it and these were these were prints they're not originals I did spot this silver bowl that the shape was really cool um, couldn't figure out where it was from couldn't read it um, but it was a great price $3.99 and that made its way into my cart so i was excited for that because lately i've been collecting a lot of silver so i was very happy about that one okay i lied there's one more store this is another palmetto goodwill um that we caught in mount pleasant right before we headed home and i actually did find a few things in this particular store Again, it's Saturday, it was already the end of the day, and I'm surprised I even found anything. This was cute, um, little braided ceramic basket, but I passed on it. This one was a score. This was a vintage Pottery Barn piece, so I was excited to find that. And I took home this little basket, adorable for my kitchen. And of course, we needed to pick me up, we stopped for some coffee. Okay guys, I just got home, the sun's about to set, and I wanted to share with you guys everything I picked up today. I believe we hit maybe six or seven Goodwill and one antique shop today. We went into um, North Charleston, Charleston, down to Mount Pleasant, and um, yeah, so that was the route that we went on. Um, and I didn't find as much, honestly, that I would have wanted to find with so many stores. This is something that I mentioned before in the past that when you are thrifting, you have to make it a, um, a habit to frequent these shops. You have to go often and you have to go preferably in the beginning of the week when they are pulling in new inventory. Um, all right, I'm going to stop babbling and without further ado, I'm going to show you everything I picked up that I feel is going to blend very beautifully within the decor um, of this new home. So, so what I'm gonna show you is not in order by store. I'm just picking up everything that is out of this 
box here. Um, so I found this beautiful bowl. Um, it doesn't say where it's from. Um, it has a sticker on it. I think it says made in India. So this could be Indian silver. I don't know. I paid $3.99 for it. And this was at the thrift community, community thrift. I think that was what it's called. Now behind me, I've been collecting a lot of silver. I find that I've been just really into silver pieces lately for my shelving. Um, I never used to collect silver or any other metals um, in my decor. So this is new for me, it's fresh, I'm loving it. I'm loving the metals mixed into the pottery. So this bowl is super cool. I'm probably gonna place it in the other cabinet there. It's a little lackluster on that side. Um, a lot of the pieces that I have here are on my VendiCollections.com website. Guys, I do sell beautiful home decor that I have sourced that is for sale currently on the website. So there are some beautiful horse bookends. There is a beautiful vase behind me. There is a beautiful pedestal, um, what do you call that? A pedestal dish that's all silver. So some really, really unique finds. Um, so this bowl is mine. I am not selling the bowl, but it is gonna be another beautiful addition um, to pair with the other cabinet. Okay, next up. I know I said I love silver, but I also love copper. I had a little copper thing going on in my kitchen in my last house, and I may bring in some copper into this kitchen. I'm not 100% sure, but this is, this, is real, this is a real copper charger. And guys, I think this is just really cool just to put vintage cups um, during a little dinner party. Um, coffee cups, whatever you'd like. You could even mount it like this on a cupboard or in a shelf. It could work on your coffee table. Um, bowls and trays are always such a good investment. I find that you can style them however you'd like. And again, I'm loving the copper. Do you wanna make an, an entrance, Grady? This is my new little cat. He's gonna show you his butt. Camera's this way, Grady. Say hi to Momo, say hi. Hi, everybody. Okay, we have a silver theme today. I swear it's not on purpose, but it happened to be what I found. Um, I found another beautiful silver vase. This one is from Pottery Barn. I paid $2.99. Oh, this tray, I'm sorry, I forgot about the tray. Tray was $2.99 as well. It's like in black ink there. So this was also $2.99. This was a whole different store. And I believe this is Vintage Pottery Barn. They do not sell this, um, they do not sell any metal vases that I know of anymore in the store. Um, maybe this was during a holiday collection. I don't know. But nonetheless, this will still look really beautiful paired in my, um, paired inside my black cabinet here. And I'm excited to style this. I'm just gonna show you guys all of the metals. So I happen to fancy this candlestick holder. This is really nice and weighty. Um, and it's just, I love that little touch of vintage in with all of the um, proper dinner table settings. I love to take something fancy and really sort of bring in a little rustic touch, a little vintage vibe into the whole setting. So, okay, so the next thing I found, of course, I was just like, yes, I absolutely love this piece. A real wood, uh, a real wood tray, bread tray. Um, this is for like cutting baguettes. I don't love the tone, but I can easily fix that. I have this product called Retique It. It is a wood, sort of effect that people have been using now to make their furniture pieces look like wood. A couple of videos back before I sold my home, I redid my, my bathroom vanity with this product and it is superb, totally worth what it costs. It is a little bit pricey, but guys, that little bit goes a long way and I can use that paint on this. Again, I would not be cutting any bread. This is just for decorative purposes only. And this guy was only $4.99 and it is a really great size. Next up, I found this really cute basket. Again, this is 
sort of really playing with the aesthetics of where I'm going with the kitchen. Um, bringing in that cottage feel, European cottage feel. And I thought, I love how this basket is like really soft and it's sort of bent here. Um, it has a really great shape. I love the double handles too. I think this would be great just to put a bunch of apples in here, just kind of spilling out. Just has that very organic feel. Um, and this was only $1.99. And so this was super cute. I just had to grab it. The next thing I got, you probably remember seeing it in your grandmother's kitchen, is this Corningware um, baking dish. I love the fact that it came with its original lid. Now, this is the reason why I bought it is because finding these bowls to bake in with with the lid is extremely hard. It's like finding a needle in a haystack. So if you find one of these vintage baking ware sets and it has the lid, you have found yourself a gem. So I was very excited to find this and I paid $3.99. And this is gonna be great for little casseroles. Um, guys, baking anything in this really, um, any souffles, not that I bake souffles, but I do lots of casseroles. Um, stews, um, basically anything. I just love that the original lid is on there. So coming down to the wire, because like I said, I didn't find too much stuff. Okay, so the next thing I found were a set of prints, framed prints. I've been really loving a lot of European art, and I thought that this was really beautiful. The tones are just gorgeous, and the frame and the matting is great. I paid $1.99. I mean, guys, even if the picture was ugly, the frame and the matting is just stellar. Like I can put anything in here. So for $1.99, this was definitely worth just the frame and the matting. Um, I don't know if this is original or not. It does have a signature on here. No, it doesn't look like it's original, but it's St. Pierre, something else St. Pierre, but I love the tones on this. And and I know there's a glare here, sorry guys. But this is so, so pretty, very European. I might I might put these in my daughter's room when I style that bedroom. We have not even touched the bedrooms yet. So we have, we have bedrooms and bathrooms that we're still needing to revamp all of that. And that's gonna take a little bit of time. We might start, we might start the project right after the kitchen into Kelsey's room. Um, for you guys that don't know, my daughter has a channel um, on this platform. Her name is Kelsey Simone. You can look her up. I'll put her channel name right up here. And she's a beauty and fashion influencer. And she is OG. She's been around since she was 16 on this channel and has grown very much. Um, and so, yeah, so we are an influencer family and she lives in New York City right now. We just moved to South Carolina, but like any good mama, I have a spare bedroom <laughs> dedicated to her. So when she comes to visit, she has her very own room. And I'm excited to bring a Kelsey Simone sort of aesthetic to the room. I want it to be her. Um, our styles are slightly different. So um, I'm excited to bring that Kelsey Simone touch into her bedroom. That's gonna be an exciting video. I'm gonna take you guys with me. We're gonna go shopping. We're gonna pick out things that she would like. I might do some polls on Instagram. I'll put my Instagram here. Make sure that you're following me. Check out the story. So when we get down to that road, um, I will be taking you guys shopping with me. We'll pick out things and hopefully, I think some of you already follow both of us. So those that follow both of us can um, go ahead and vote and know and tell me whether if Kelsey would like these things or not. Um, but that it's going to be for a much further down the road video. Um, this is not going to be in the next couple of weeks, guys. I'm still trying to wrap up my kitchen. And um, yeah, so today was all about thrifting, picking up a few things to add to my kitchen decor. And um, yeah, I wanted to share with you guys a thrift with me a la Charleston version. I live in South Carolina, but I mainly live more towards Myrtle Beach. So Charleston's about a 45 minute drive. And Charleston's another great, um, you know, vacation destination. And Charleston's charming, it's quaint, it's historic. And um, I wanted to see what the thrift stores were like out there to see if maybe I'd luck out or have any better opportunities of finding more things there. But guys, honestly, it's the same. I'm going to really miss Delaware. 
<laughs> out of all the things that I would miss, it was it's definitely the thrift stores, I have to tell you. Um, maybe I'm just going on wrong days, but um, the thrift stores are not the same in South Carolina. And those of you who are from here can attest, write down in the comment if you agree with me. Um, yeah, so that is the end of my haul, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this little mini thrift with me um, day today in Charleston. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below what are your favorite items, which one of the pieces you would have bought for yourself. I'd love to hear um, from you guys. I love always communicating back with you guys. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, then please do so. There's exciting content that is to come, so you don't wanna miss out on any future content. Make sure that you also place that notification bell on so that you are notified when I upload the next new video. So guys, I wanna thank you so much for tuning in today. I'll see you in my next video.